hello guys and welcome to my channel in this math video today i want to show you how to make this arrow in this equation the subject of the relation just pay attention you're going to learn okay so let's see to the solution of this problem so what we need to do at this point firstly because of this square root in this change of subject of the formula we don't have a specific rule that we need to follow but then there are some certain guide you need to know we have square root like this because this arrow we are looking for is inside the square root we need to remove this square root and the only way we can do that is, is to take the square of both sides of the equation so here we have p over square root of 2 all square all right i've told you the reason for which we are doing this because we want to eliminate the square roots and then look for this arrow that we are supposed to uh, express in terms of p and q so we have to square both sides of the equation now we've succeeded in doing that. Next step is to cancel. Whenever you see square root and square, they cancel out. It's quite simple, right? Or you can transform the square root to become one over two, and you can see that this two and that's, that two on the denominator can easily cancel out. So either way is okay. So what's the interpretation of this? Keep in mind, whenever you have the square root of a number, maybe say A, is the same thing as a to the power of 1 over 2. All right, it's the same thing. So if you have the square root of 2, you can transform it to 2 to the power of 1 over 2. All right, so we're going to do that on the denominator here. And when you have something squared, if you have a over b all squared, it's the same thing as saying a squared over b squared. So keep that in mind. I want to apply that rule here. So at this point, we should be having p squared by the time you duplicate this. And then we have here to be 2. Remember, this is going to be 1 half. Then that is going to multiply by this one. All right? So that's the best way I think we can simplify that. I've told you this is the same thing with this. So because of this square, this will distribute to this and also this, which is the way you're seeing. Okay, what will be left with the... What we have on the right-hand side of the equation will be arrow plus q. All right, we are making progress. Keep in mind what we are looking for is arrow. What to express this arrow in terms of P and Q is the same thing as saying make arrow the subject of the formula. So that's what we are essentially uh, looking for. So what else do we need to do at this point? Keep in mind that 1 times 2 will be 2 divided by 2. That will be 1. Or easily you can cancel out these two. So you can have the whole expression to become P squared over... Then we have just 2 on the denominator equals we have arrow over arrow plus q. So what do we need to do at this point? We need to cross multiply. We need to cross multiply. So this 2 will be multiplying by the arrow. And the arrow plus q will be multiplying by the p squared. So let's achieve that here. So what we need to do is to say p squared into arrow plus q equals... 2 multiplied by arrow, that will be 2 arrow. So because we are also looking for arrow, that's what we are looking for ideally. So what we need to do is to distribute this. And when you distribute this, what happened? Let's do that first. P squared times arrow will be P squared arrow plus P squared Q equal to 2 arrow. Let's have that there, 2 arrow. So what's the next point? We're having arrow here, we're having arrow here, so we have to collect like terms. Why do we need to collect like terms? Keep in mind, we are looking for arrow. We want to express arrow in terms of P and Q. So what do we need to do at this point? Let's take this P squared arrow across to the right of the equation. So we have just this left, which is P squared Q equals, we have two arrow minus keep in mind when this positive there's a positive sign here when it crosses over to this part it changes to negative of p squared arrow so what's the next step we're almost done i notice that we have arrow on both sides of this expression so we want to factor out arrow so we'll be having p squared q equal to arrow into two when you factor out this arrow what will be left here is just two minus if you bring out this arrow which is this one all you have here is p squared 
please if you know if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel please hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so whenever i upload new video you get notification all right so what do we need to do to get the final answer is to divide both sides by these two minus p squared because we are looking for this arrow divide both sides by two minus p squared so two minus p squared we cancel out with this therefore arrow will be equal to p squared q over we have two minus p squared so that's the solution to this particular problem i hope you found this video helpful please make sure to hit the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so that when i upload new video you get notification and please keep in mind that if you didn't share this video or if you didn't like this video or if you didn't subscribe to my youtube channel you most probably may not see my channel again so please make sure to follow me so that you can see more videos subscribe right now subscribe right now i'll see you in the next video please make sure to take care of yourself bye bye